Copyright disclaimer. The footage in this video is transformative and is protected under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 for the purpose of criticism, comments or news reporting. I was sent two different videos and was asked to kind of have a look at them and give my comment back on them. Now after looking at both videos I felt that maybe I should do a little video on this and a reaction um, and if this is something you guys would like me to do more of uh, comment below hit the like button and we'll go from there to see if this is something that will turn into a regular thing on Happy TV. Okay so by the looks of this general protesters standing around uh, not doing much. It looks like the police have actually got somebody arrested. Now they're pulling a bike away from a guy at the bottom left there, as you can see, kind of in the middle of the screen. And then the police officer kind of pushes him out of the way. Okay, fair enough. Okay, now the police officer's given the guy with the bike. Oh, and now he's hit him, and there was no need for that. Let's have a look at that again. Okay, so the guy that you see with the bag on his bike right next to the horse, he's kind of standing there tapping the officer on the shoulder, trying to grab his attention. And then literally the officer pushes him out of the way a little bit, nothing too hard. And then all of a sudden the police officer on the horse whacks him with his truncheon. I think that's bang out of order and there was no need for that whatsoever. So my conclusion for this video is, the guy on the horse is a bit of an arse. Um, he attacks somebody from behind and hits them from behind, which is a bit of a cowardly act. Um, and to be honest, was absolutely unnecessary and no need for it at all. Okay, so the second video I've been asked to review is this one. Um, so we'll take a little look and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to the best bit of the video, basically the reason why I've been asked to comment, because this video does go on for quite a long time, um, and I don't think it's necessary to see all of it um, up until the point that I've kind of been asked to review. Okay, so there is a protest going on here, and it seems like at this point it's about to kick off. So we know this is Tommy Robinson supporters help hide two police officers, one man spills his pint video. The police are getting objects thrown at them, TSG are moving away, um, it seems like, I don't know, members of the public, press, uh, are around, um, things are being thrown as we said. Police look like they're a bit confused on what's actually going on, people are running up the street. And then all of a sudden two PCSOs, not PCSOs, um, community liaison officers seem to kind of hide down this alleyway here, almost being protected by the Tommy Robinson supporters as a load of them run past and things are still being flown like cones and stuff. As you can see here, the two police officers are on their radios, probably trying to let their other officers know where they are. These guys are kind of protecting them, just making sure that no one comes down. The police are definitely well hidden at this time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, why isn't this sort of stuff publicised on the news? Uh, people are always being painted out to be bad people. Um, and, yeah, it annoys me that, you know, they've actually done good here for once. Uh, okay, a big proportion of the group decided to kick off, but then there are a few supporters there that are actually kind of helping the police, um, and it hasn't been publicised at all. So right at the end of the alleyway where the police are just coming past now, there's a guy flagging down the police officers, uh, trying to get their attention to let them know that obviously a couple of his colleagues are down the bottom here. There's about 20 of them now, go now, if you're going to go, go now. And let's face it, the worst thing in this video is the guy lost his uh, pint. At £5.50, I'd be annoyed. So let me just say that I'm actually here to comment on the videos, not the protests themselves or what they're about. All I will say is that, you know, I'm sure on this day there would have been lots of the press um, bad mouthing the protest. Um, what would have been nice is actually at the end of their report to maybe stuck something on like this, just saying well done to the people that helped the police officers there and got them back to their colleagues safely. But as we all know, the press is not on our side and they will not tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So thanks for watching guys. If you've watched to the end, I really do appreciate it. I've actually had a few people um, ask me to review a few videos, so if this is something you'd like to see more on the channel, please hit that like button and comment below and I will hopefully do some more. 
uh, of these reaction videos. Thanks for watching and thank you to all of you that have liked, commented and subscribed so far.